Greetings from the CM Russell Museum. I'm Executive Director Tom Figarelli, and welcome to the latest installment of the 2020 Art in Action Artist Showcase. Given the pandemic impacts of 2020, we're conducting a remote Art in Action event, which many of you know Art in Action as an exciting variation of a traditional quick draw or quick finish, where we have nationally renowned artists spending several hours to finish a piece of art while also interacting with guests. These dynamics and us doing this Art in Action event remotely means that you won't see the artist working on their piece of art, but hopefully these showcases give you an opportunity to interact with the artists, hear from them on how they're doing, um, what they're working on, their creative process, uh, and just try to replicate that interaction as best we can given the, uh, the social distances we're all trying to maintain. So today uh, we're joined by artist Chad Poppleton and all of these uh, series and Art in Action is sponsored by DA Davidson Companies who underwrites not only the Art in Action event, but all of our education program, uh, programming at the CM Russell Museum. So we appreciate them for their support uh, and commitment to our mission. Chad, it's great to have you. Thanks for joining us. Hey, you bet. Great to be here with you, Tom. Absolutely. Hey, you know, given everything that's going on in this world, how have you and your family endured? Uh, you know, we've been okay. It's been a little bit crazy. We've made some adjustments, but you know, we're doing fine. And Good. stuff. Uh, it's been a fun time. Neat experience, very different, but. <laughs> very different indeed. Mm -hmm. Have you probably spent a lot of time huddled around family, I can imagine? Oh man, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, you know, we have uh, four teenagers now in our home and one younger one. And so it's just been crazy. They, they haven't minded the social distancing. For some reason, them and their friends seem to think that our fridge has an open um, door always. And, uh, you know, every couch and sleeping bag we have seems to be the place to crash at night downstairs in our basement. <laughs> good, good for you guys. You're, you're brave having to endure a quarantine and sometimes with uh, four teenagers. Good for you. Yeah, I have a can of Lysol. I hit them before they come through. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the best protection you can get. Yeah. Well, Chad, as an artist, um, what, what draws you to a quick draw or a quick finish style event like we have in Art in Action? Oh, man. Well, uh, I think it's just fun, really. I like, to, I like to meet the people that are looking at art, I like to talk with them. I'm sure that um, I've heard numerous times that they, they just appreciate watching and enjoying, you know, and uh, I'm sure they're curious how every artist does their little thing and what inspires them or what gets them their kick. And so I think they like to be a part of it. Sure. Um, and, it, and I think that's the big thing is they want to be a part of what's created and they have fun. And uh, that's the main point, you know. And so it has more meaning for them in their home with the piece when they've seen the conception or, or um, heard about it or watched it created, you know. Well, that's interesting. And, I, you know, honestly, I don't know of an artist that we've profiled on these showcases put it just that way. Is that the patron, if I'm hearing you right, it almost becomes like a, a part of the piece because they've seen it evolve. They've seen it go from one state to a more finished uh, place. So, no, that, that makes good sense. Oh yeah, it's like um, I, I kind of looked at it um, basically like reading a book. You know, everybody wants the ending of the book; they want to rush right through it. But there's no fun in in just reading the end of the book. It's the it's the process and the journey. So a little bit like this is to watch the creative process because that seems to be a major question with people is the creative process, and so involving them with it um, is neat. Uh, you know, I like. Uh, I like a lot of different things. One thing I like to watch is, is uh, colt training and horse training, you know, and um, instead of just having a finished horse, it's really curious to me is how did they, they get to that point where the colt was trained? What steps did they take? And uh, you know, how could, I, I mean, for me, how could I look at it? But I would assume it's something liking unto that, you know? Sure. No, I think that's a, that's a really great analogy. I mean, it gives you kind of a, a richness to the appreciation. Because you know where yeah. that piece came from, you know where that, how that horse evolved and built its character. Mm -hmm. So, no, I think that makes good sense. And I'm sure that everybody who's watching, who's participating in Art in Action, you know, they're going to be able to really connect to that. You know, speaking about process, Chad, take us through that for you a little bit. When you go from an idea, um, an inspiration, um, from there to when you've put something on canvas and you've completed it, what's the process look like for you? Ooh, well... 
I would have to have all of you sign a disclaimer, uh, number one. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you know, it, it, that seems to be the golden question in art or creative processes. Where do you get the spark from? How do you start? What's your process? Where do you go through? Um, you know, for me, uh, maybe I can answer a different question in a little easier manner, is generally comes down to the light, what I see. Um, as an artist, you know, we don't paint things. We paint light on shapes and form. And so I'm always drawn to that. Um, so pretty much something sets me off, like a beautiful landscape or the gesture of, a, of a, an animal or, you know, or the light across a meadow and with a herd of elk, uh, you know, or just the reflective light from the, the shoulder of a horse as it's running or something similar like that just kind of sets me off. And then the story starts and um, I start thinking of that. And it, sometimes they bounce around in my head, clunk around for uh, weeks, months, years. I don't know. You know, I'll just see something and think I'll have to do it. And it takes a little bit of time where it's always into the back of your mind, no matter what you do. Um, you're thinking about what you're going to paint or create. And then, uh, you know, I just start out with little sketches and doodles, thumbnails, and keep it simple because I'm stupid. And so <laughs> I started with those things and just, um, you know, start out with those thumbnail sketches. And then I just kind of evolve and then I don't look at it for a little bit. I'll do a bigger sketch and then uh, kind of put it away. And then, um, and that's the fun part is the creative part of that, you know. Um, Say, for instance, I see a really beautiful landscape, uh, you know, let's some light on a peak and there's a little shadowy front or something like that. I just think, oh, gosh, uh, I can just see something there. Um, this piece behind me, um, I don't know if the light might be too bright or something. I'll give you a little better view later. Um, I was delivering some paintings in Jackson Hole uh, last this winter, you know, early winter going across there. And the... Um, it was just the first snowstorm of the year, dumped a few inches of snow, you know, and and across that valley, I was looking over at the sleeping Indian mountain in the background and the cottonwood bottoms of the sage flats. And I just thought about how beautiful and how cool it was to think of, you know, there's an Indian camp there. Um, I could just see that and feel that. And then I just, I thought about that and went, God, what would it be like to have a, um, I could just see an Indian Native American, excuse me, wife or mother just uh, standing there waiting for her uh, man to come home. And I don't know why, but it just really touched me at that moment. And for that creative process, that's just where it started. Um, and, you know, it's kind of a homage piece, I guess, to my wife. She's always wondering and waiting when I'm going to get home at night, if I'm not fixing machinery, hauling hay, riding horses or roping or something, or sure. out chasing animals. You know, she's always wondering and waiting, and I always know I don't want to leave her hanging or wondering, so I don't no, know. Just that makes good sense. So, I mean, it's one part kind of like visualization. I mean, you're seeing yeah. a scene kind of present itself in front of you, but also a little bit of personal uh, experience there too, right? Kind of blended in. Well, I think so. I think all your art has to be have somewhat of a personal touch to it. That's what makes it special. And hopefully the the patron, the viewer, or what, what have you uh, can liken themselves to it, you know, become a part of it. If they can't see the process that we talked about earlier, you know, they could be drawn in by the conclusion of the visual experience. And uh, I just hope they're stimulated by it and uh, they can become to an idea. Um, a lot of times I'll do the, uh, um, the story that doesn't quite have an ending and sure. I'll let the patron um, decide what the ending's gonna be. You know, a bunch of cowboys on a horse getting surprised by a bear. It could roll either way, you know, the dice. So that's their job. Yeah, to, no. I mean, that's in the spirit of Charlie too, right? I mean, to have kind oh, of yeah. a predicament piece that then the, the viewer needs to kind of create some sort of next chapter to. So oh, I, absolutely. I, and I think that that is one thing that, um, you know, that's present in other, you know, uh, genres of art, but there's just something that is very real about that in Western art. Um, so right. yeah, no, I appreciate you bringing that to the surface and, you know, to kind of the sincerity that you mentioned, uh, that an artist puts in, if they have some sort of personal connection that they can relate into the piece. And you know what, I think that that's something that people can sense. It's a little palpable, um, hard to define, 
but I think for patrons and people who collect art, they know it when they see it. Um, and, and certainly you know how to put that into your work. So we appreciate that. Well, thank you, thank you. We're just trying to evoke an emotion, a little response to people, really. That's sure. what it comes down to, you know, the stimulation. And so if they can relate all the better. Well, and you that know. fits in so well to art and action. So if you can have emotion yeah. and something that people can relate to, but you're doing it in a format that is interactive um, and, and really dr brings a community together and that fellowship that we have as a Western mm -hmm. art community, I think then you have a real winning formula there. Oh yeah, the art in action is a great, great time. We've had so many good, good memories there at Metal Lark um, Country Club and we just hope it continues at some point when we pass this and uh, when we get back to it, it'll be even better. You know, I'm sure we'll be able to hug you know, maybe a few kisses or something like that, but uh, I hope that's all comes back. Well, you know? I'll have to stay away from you then, Chad, for a while. Don't <laughs> <I>? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> no, but I hear you. I mean, it's going to be a real celebration when it, when we're able to bring a Western art community back together under one rooftop again. I mean, gosh, yeah. that's really going to be a special thing. And, and I hope that, you know, folks that are watching this, you know, that you kind of use that for a little bit of spark of hope, you know, out there that, you know, not only are, you, are we able to, at some point, inevitably going to get back together and celebrate um, the, the American West, Russell's art and art of ensuing generations, but we're just going to have normalcy uh, again at, at some point. Um, as different as it may be, it will happen eventually. So, no, I, I appreciate that, Jeff. It was so hard. I think the hardest part, Tom, about being able to reschedule was just not seeing your friends. Uh, you know, Amy and I look forward to just seeing so many people that, museum staff, many of you guys are become our dear friends and, and not only that, but the collectors and patrons. And that was the hardest part. We were so looking forward in all sincerity, just to catch up and visit, you know, um, but it'll come back and we know that that time will come and we're all strong, good Americans and we can, we're resilient and we can uh, adapt. Right. Absolutely. Amen. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, Chad, hey, thank you for the time today. And, and thanks for just sharing with you, uh, sharing with us some insights, um, just how things are going, your art, your process. We really appreciate it. Certainly, uh, you know, folks always look forward to visiting with you every year. So this will have to suffice at least for the time being, but we really appreciate it. Well, I, I, thank you. And I appreciate the museum, the efforts that you guys have made to make this so special, um, to keep this special. There's not as many people that are able to do the work that you guys have done. And uh, it's been just very nice and very e easily to work with. And this is a great thing to do. Um, this is thinking on our feet and we're, I'm proud to be a part of it. Thank you very much from the Poppletons. Ah, well, thank you. And, and you and your family be well. And we look forward to seeing you at some yeah. point soon, maybe 2020, but uh, it'll, it'll be at some point in the future. Yep. Uh, so thank you for everyone for joining us today. Uh, thank you again. <laughs> to our sponsor, DA Davidson Companies, for supporting Art in Action and all education programming at the CM Russell Museum. Also, uh -huh. all, of our, all of our artists have been sponsored by generous uh, benefactors. Gene and Randy Fouch have sponsored Chad and their support benefits the CM Russell Museum as well. So thank you, Randy Thanks. and Gene. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, Tom. Well, Thanks thank you all. Take care, we're out here. All right, see you, Tom. Thank, thank you. you. See you, Chad, be well. <laughs>